right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Assemble. My name is Hi Ruler, and I just finished the dev stream. But as part of my dev stream package on Fridays, I'm going to start doing a recap for you guys to just go over my notes that they kind of say. It just gives you guys a very easy, quick, and digestible way to kind of get the information for the dev stream. So, obviously, guys, I'm just going to go over my notes. So, you know, as kind of part of the stream, I may miss something. So, don't take these as the all inclusive package. There is times where I miss something. But this should be the majority of the things that they have talked about. So, obviously, starting off, we need Andy to stop saying 1337. Like, that's full stop. Andy, you got to stop doing that, man. Um, server issues. I know there were some issues over in EU. Uh, Layla has said that the internet carrier issues but seem to have resolved itself over time. The thing that managed the internet stuff over in Italy. So, seemingly, it was something out of the control of Crystal and Square. But it seems to have resolved itself over time. So... If you guys are still experiencing those issues with servers and you're in the EU, make sure you report them. But on their end, seemingly all should be well. Um, they also talked about an obscure bug in a hive with certain power levels, and that was a data error. They have found it and fixed it, and they're going to check the rest of the content for it. Phil didn't allude to too much of this one, but it, it had to do if you were a certain power level and stuff like that. So it was an obscure bug, and they seemingly fixed it on the, fixed and found it on their own. But it is something that they're going to now check elsewhere to make sure that bug isn't popping up. All right, guys, so next we're going to talk about the gamma bug. This is a bug with damage scaling. Um, of course, now with fixing the gamma bug, they are going to be fixing a bunch of other stuff that kind of ties into it as well. And the combat team seems to have figured out what's going on with that. So if you've been running with gamma and you've been doing the bug stuff, seems to come to an end. All right, guys, next is cosmetic rework. They're still working on it. And, of course, if you haven't noticed, they added some stuff into the cosmetic vendor with the attack and anomaly patch. But it is stuff they're, they're still working on. And this isn't the full scope of what we've seen with the cosmetic rework. All right, next for Hawkeye, the free outfit does have a bug with the mask. The team is aware and they're working on that and they're trying to figure out a fix for it. Uh, so for the PS Plus skin, guys, obviously Layla asked for an update on it, and they're still being worked on how to retroactively give the people who claim the PS Plus the outfit. I think it was it was sixteen ten, and you guys were getting six one six. So they're still trying to figure out how to retro retroactively give you guys that skin. All right, next is the weekly war table blog. They want to make sure that whatever they show us is more concrete than here on the stream. So whatever they talk about on the war table blog, they want to make sure that it is concrete information. Um, they did say the new updates are going in the blog next week, and they're doing new spotlights every other week, and they're doing Q&A with different members of the team, which is very cool to give you guys more introduction to those members. All right, guys, so next for OLTs, good progress being made in the missions. They fix even more bugs lately. The QA team is drilling into it now. So basically the idea is that they play through it, you know, try to figure out if the puzzles work make sure the rewards are kind of all working correctly and then they go and repeat that again to make sure that the missions work all the way through phil wants to work on a teaser trailer for all of that content to kind of hype it up so they don't just kind of arrive there's kind of a, a push behind it so that's something they are going to try to work on they do have more than two olts obviously that was a big question people ask is like we've only really heard about two there are more than two there is three coming and hopefully then more in the future as well so when it comes to bug reporting, one of the more interesting cases of bug reporting going on is that sound doesn't seem to be working in some situations. Layla has said that the team thinks it might be correlated to hardware in these situations, but without all the details of these bugs, it's really hard to nail it down. So if you guys are experiencing this weird sound issue going on, make sure you report everything, including all the hardware you're using, because they think it's correlated to the hardware you're using and not something just related to the game. So Phil talked about patrol mode a little bit. Um, they managed to play four players this week, huge, huge level, and they got so much stuff in there. And he said it's really, really fun to run around in this space. In terms of credits in patrol mode, he said it's not something you may be able to be farmed daily. It could be an introduction into the quest line. Fast travel, he said, if not right now, it could be something down the line. It, Phil had said it's not overly complicated to do. When it comes to more patrol modes, Phil wants to do more patrol modes in other biomes. I mean, this has been reiterated multiple times. Random events, he said there's no public event style things that are going to happen, but a special enemy spawn, then yes, that will happen within patrol mode. There was a question about elevator banter, just being banter for patrol mode. He said that is something that they will look into. And then obviously no typical objectives in patrol mode. So it's basically a free roam place with some things to pop up, special enemies and stuff. But it's not something you're going in there with a set of objectives to go and accomplish. So next, the MCU skins. Of course, there was no MCU skin that was shown this week. I mean, we do have the MCU Hulk that is leaked out there. But next week, a thousand million, one trillion percent will see an mcu skin and he reiterated that it's just one it's not multiple it's just one skin that we'll see in terms of the elite dreadbox codex 
Layla said a persistent user on Twitter um, who tags her in that one. They are looking into it. I thought that was a part of the recent fix with 1.6. So my information could be outdated on that one. I thought that was something they had fixed in 1.6, but um, apparently that might be something they're still looking into. Um, in terms of the super adaptoid villain sector, that is coming soon. Phil had said that. In terms of Loot 2.0, they're testing some rollout with the new gear distribution. They're hoping to talk about it soon. Phil says that it's pretty exciting. Uh, Phil had also talked about that, once again, it's more ways to leverage the gear that you currently like. But he doesn't know if the new gear will affect the current gear. Now, I don't know if that means like the new gear will replace your old gear, like the perks and stuff like that. Or if it means like your new gear won't be able to be brought forward. You know, like they talk about leveraging the gear that you like. But if the old gear is going to be outdated in terms of the perks, we don't know if you're going to be able to take that forward with you into the new content. So that's something that's still to be to be determined at this point. More big enemies for team takedowns. Phil says he would love to do this. So obviously more cool team up stuff like that it could be very cool to get done. Gear visuals on characters. He, Phil has said it's not something they're looking into. They've looked at gear that changes powers and such, but nothing in the short term on that end. New takedown slash outfits. Phil says there's a ton coming in the future with these. Six player mode. Phil has said that they're pushing consoles to the maximum already. Six heroes or six players is probably too much. If they could find a way to do it, Phil would love to. Red Room Takeover. Red Room Takeover inf information next week, guys. Post 50 progression. Um, they're talking about it soon. Phil says he's seen some of the new systems and that it's really cool. Versus mode or otherwise known as PVP. Uh, Phil has said no versus mode. They're not focused on PVP. Rejoin mission in progress. Not something they have in the short term right now, but they want to support it in the future. The black, white, or outrider skin. You guys can see it here. Obviously, this is the skin. Crossplay. Not something they're doing at this moment. Phil had alluded to not something they have announced, but I mean, it was mentioned in the Kate War Table. So they have talked about it publicly in a, in a bigger way than the dev stream. So, um, yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, Modoc Villain Sector. Phil has said, I would like that. I think that would be awesome. Hair swapping mechanics. So Phil has said that's not something likely to happen, but they know that we want long hair for Black Widow, for example. Um, weapon skins. This is the one everyone's going to want to hold on to here. So the short answer is weapon skins are coming to the game. That is something that are coming. But Phil had said, but he's not going to say yes. So it's something they, they are going to talk about eventually, but it's not something he can talk about yet. So weapon skins are coming for people who want weapon skins. The UI. Director of UI is making progress on a lot of updates. They want to do a live stream that's focused on UI and stuff like that. So eventually we will have a stream that's dedicated to the UI changes coming to the game and stuff that's being updated over the course of the lifespan of the game. So on attacking anomaly being made permanent, Andy is going to bring it up to people to see what kind of internal, you know, if it's internally wanted. And then Phil said that he personally likes the idea of attacking anomaly being a permanent mode to the game. Spider-Man news. No Spidey news other than the team is working really hard on getting them out the door as quickly as they can. Cross saves. If there ever is cross play, that should be something to look at. So it means if there ever is cross play, then maybe cross saves is something they're going to look at as well. Switching heroes during gameplay. So Phil has said technically it's possible, but they, they would have to make the other systems update live to match the character you're playing and not the one you joined in with. So apparently what it what it, how it works right now is that uh, everything, the enemy scaling, the loot system, everything like that is kind of scaled as the character you join in with. But if you're able to kind of switch characters on the fly, all those back end systems would have to update as well on a live setting so he said it's a little more complicated than just kind of making it possible um but it remains to be seen whether that's something they're going to do down the line in terms of gear sets phil has said new gear sets especially some of the bigger content drops raid style stuff teaser so he reiterated that their end game stuff is called olts they're working on the most elaborate one right now more information will come out this summer for us to me that says wakanda um, so it remains to be seen what we get with the Wakanda expansion. So emo wheel, something Phil has to ask about since he doesn't. Oh, I think I think that was basically he doesn't know right right now what's the status of the emo wheel. So it's something he will have to ask about. Custom huds for characters, not something they're looking at doing in the short term. Loadouts, Phil is going to look into this, and then some questions from chat, but most of these got answered anyways. So. Um, with that being said, guys, this is the update from the dev stream, just very quickly making it so you guys have all the information there. And I would look forward to seeing you guys next time here in the Assemble channel. Thank you so much. See you later. Adios. Mm -hmm.